Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to expand a single bracket um, hopefully make this as easy as possible for you. So um, first of all, let's take initial example. So a classic starting example is something like four brackets, three X plus two. You might have seen something like this in your homework. OK, all this means is that this bracket three X plus two is being multiplied by four. That's all it means. OK, so basically all it means is that everything inside this bracket, the three X and the two are going to be multiplied by four. I'm going to take that out just so that it's not confusing. Um, so if we go, first of all, and multiply the three X by four, OK, what we're going to get is four times three X, four times three is 12, 12 X. And if I go and do the same thing with the two times the two by the four, I'm going to get an answer of four times two, which is eight. OK, so basically so all it is, is that everything inside the bracket is multiplied by the thing outside the bracket. OK, so if you'd like to have a go at a similar example, let's make a, a different one. Um, how about this one? OK, feel free to pause it, have a go. All right, so everything inside this bracket, the 5x and the 1, are going to be multiplied by 2 in this case. So let's first of all do this first step. 2 times 5x is equal to 10x. And the second thing we've got, the second term is 1, so 2 times 1 is equal to 2. Okay, expanding the brackets basically means remove the brackets. Okay, so we get a simplified expression. Let's go and have a look at another couple. Um, I'll start to build up the difficulty level. So I'm going to start putting in some negative numbers now. So we've got five brackets. Let's try 4x subtract 6. Okay, so in this one, everything inside this bracket is going to be multiplied by 5. So first of all, 4x times 5. 5 times 4x is equal to, 5 times 4 is 20, 20x. And then the second thing I've got is a minus 6. So 5 times minus 6 is negative 30. There's our answer. I've removed the brackets. I've expanded the brackets. Let's do another one. Um, how about if the negative number were outside the brackets this time? So minus 6 and then open brackets 2a minus 3b. So all of this bracket is going to be multiplied by negative 6 now. OK, first thing I've got then is negative 6 times by 2a. So that's going to be equal to negative 6 times 2. Well, I know 6 times 2 is 12, so negative 6 times 2 will be negative 12a. And then I've also got minus 3b to multiply by minus 6. Now, negative times by a negative gives me a positive. I know that. Then I've got 3 times 6, which I know is 18, and b, 18b. OK, all right, let's try some more. Um, next one. How about we've got 3x and we've got x minus 6. OK, so again, I'm going to multiply everything in this bracket, both terms, by 3x. Okay, I'll put both arrows in first. OK, so 3x multiplied by x is going to give us 3x squared. x times x is x squared. Then I've got a positive times by a negative, which I know is a negative. 6 times 3 again, well, that's 18x. 3x times negative 6 is going to be negative 18x. OK, I've expanded or removed the brackets. Let's go and do another one. OK, so this time I've got minus 4, and I'm going to multiply that by 3p minus 2q. So I've got negative 4 times by 3p and negative 4 times by negative 2q. I've got two terms to multiply it by. Um, so 3 times 4 I know is 12, so negative 4 times 3 will be negative 12p. Okay, so I've got negative 4, lots of 3p, negative 12p. And then I've got negative times negative, which is positive. I've got 2 times 4, which is 8q. All right. And last but not least, I wonder if I can just squeeze it on the side here. Um, I'm going to expand this bracket. So this time I'm going to have 2a multiplied by all the terms in this bracket, which are going to be 5a minus 2b plus 6. I'm going to be a bit cheeky and put three terms in. doesn't make any difference at all. 
So put three brackets in to show them to do three multiplications. So 2a multiplied by 5a, 2 times 5 is 10, a times a is a squared. Then I've got minus 2 times 2, well, that's minus 4 um, ab. And then I've got six lots of 2a, which I know is 12a. Okay, so that's, that's pretty, you know, that's pretty okay, isn't it? Just that extra multiplication to do at the end. So I hope that was useful. Um, if you liked it, hit subscribe and uh, good luck with your work.